You let that woman murder that doctor and fair, didn't you? Shame on you. Do you have time to help some? Well, fawns aren't exactly defenseless creatures, but they are in danger. Just because they're intelligent creatures doesn't mean that they don't need help. The herd is suffering because a wolf pack moved in. The great beasts are eating every creature in sight. It's only a matter of time before they eat the fawns too. No, definitely not. I want someone to take these fast-growing seeds and plant them throughout the fawns thicket. Fawns love the taste of the berries, but wolves can't stand them. I can offer a reward if you're inclined to assist me. I'll mark the places in Fawn's thicket where you should plant the seeds. Once the fawns start eating, the wolves won't go near them. They really can't stand the smell. We'll be planting seeds as well, but we'll stop by to see how you're doing. The fawn herd has lived in this location since before druids settled on Galen. Even druid Medena chose this thicket to study them. Besides, I adore them. <laughs> They're smart and playful. Like little Moair here. Watch out, he might try to eat your pack. growing. These berries are growing in nicely. They'll be ready for the fawns in no time. is even nicer than I expected. Let me check on the berries. Well, you sure grew in nicely. No, <laughs> look how happy Moher is.
Younger fawns play up here. They'll love these berries. Yes! The fruit is starting to bud! <laughs> How exciting! Let's regroup outside Fawn's thicket. Leave the herd to find the berries on their own. Mohair is really excited. He kept running to each of the berry plants and back to me. I'm pretty sure there are more brambles in his fur than I've ever seen before. <laughs> you made this little fawn very happy. And the herd too, I suspect. Did you hear that fawn's joyful bray? Happy fawns are hungry fawns and they'll discover the plants soon enough. Once the berries become part of their diet, the wolves will leave them alone. Here. My purse isn't large, but you've helped save this herd. Thank you again for your help. I can't abide preventable deaths. But now, I won't have to imagine fawns like Little Mohair here getting gobbled up by a hungry wolf. As safe as anything that lives in the wild can be. Mohair and I will come check on the herd every now and then to see how they're getting along. Plant a few more berries if necessary. No. The fawns and wolves need some time to settle in. If we stayed and observed, then I'd be more likely to intervene too early. We'll stay in the area, but I won't check on the herd for a while. Mohair will let me know if something goes wrong. He let me know when the herd was frightened of the wolves. I don't know if he caught a scent or if he heard the fawns call from far away. Fawns are miraculous creatures. Did you know they have magic? Huh. <laughs> I learn something new about them every day. We were thinking about heading toward Bastia. There's always newcomers there to educate about fawns. Besides, it's been a while since we visited the Vine District, and there are some folks who'd love to see how big Mohair's getting. Right, Mohair. Want to say goodbye to the herd before we leave? I keep hoping he'll rejoin a herd, but he always comes back to me.